I feel like there's yogurt on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. It's finally Friday here. It's Friday then. Our real Friday. We'll have to pretend it's Friday on Thursday, but today it is the real Friday. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? And the way we know that, we planned Maddie's wisdom teeth removal surgery for today on a Friday so she could recover over the weekend and be hopefully somewhat ready to go by Monday when she has to go back to school. Today is kind of a big day. We've never done anything like this in our house. Maddie is the first. She learned a lot this week as we went and had her consultation with her oral surgeon and got to know all the things that we need to know. I have been busy this morning getting things ready for Maddie to come and stay with us for the weekend and how we're going to take care of her, what we need to know, all the things. Tried to clean up the house a little bit this morning because I went out on a girl's night last night, got a little crazy. It's still not 100% cleaned up. It's a little bit better. At least the dishes are done and that makes me feel really good. I decided to be on top of it earlier this week after her consultation with the doctor. They gave us four prescriptions that she needed so I went across the street, got those filled earlier so that we wouldn't be worrying about that as we're driving home with her she might not feel well. You never know how people are gonna be with anesthesia. So I've got her prescriptions ready. I did go to the grocery store this morning. Let me show you guys what I got. Her mouth is gonna be hurting quite a bit. She's probably not gonna feel like eating very many crunchy things. We're gonna wanna take it nice and easy on her. So I knew popsicles would be like one of the number one things that she should eat. So I went ahead and got like real fruit bars. I ended up getting her some of these fun ones because there's cotton candy in these. She does love cotton candy almost as much as Brandon. I got her some yogurt. Also have protein shakes for her. I thought these Uncrustables might be kind of nice because they're cold and really soft. Fun drink for her to enjoy. I know that she loves these vitamin water zeros. She can have this. Cottage cheese is nice and soft and some ice cream. Still want to get her one of her favorite ice creams that she loves from Handles. It's our cotton candy. It has little teeny tiny chocolate chips in it. So we're just going to make sure with her doctor that that's fine. Trying to get some snacks and stuff for her. I'm just grateful that she can at least throw down a protein drink to get something in her body if she doesn't quite feel like eating yet. Other than that, and probably water is going to be one of the best things for her. We're going to make sure we get her some nice ice packs. Make sure she has a good recovery today. Done a lot of thinking of where we're going to have Maddie rest and relax. We know with the five kids here, it's probably not going to be the most relaxing. I think she would opt for her bedroom downstairs. Problem is, it's hard to hear her down there. So today I was cleaning up my bedroom and I thought, really our bed is the best place for her to relax because she can prop herself up if she needs to. I think for the day, I'm gonna leave her up in our bedroom. It's easy to hear because it's right here above the family room. I went upstairs and cleaned up the room just a little. It was a little crazy up there. There's a few more things I need to do. For starters, I'm gonna start with washing the sheets. Our sheets are usually pretty clean just to just make everything nice for her. I'm gonna wash the sheets real quickly. I'll just do a little speed wash, get them dried, get them on. They should be good. And I'll leave the bed unmade because that way it's ready for her to jump into right when she gets home but this is kind of messy a lot of things that I got when I went to my dinner with Albion I'm gonna clean that up that will probably be where we put some of her medicines and snacks and things that she can have just so she's comfortable and then here of course we have a giant TV in our bedroom it's a 65 inch TV that was down in the main living area that we put up in our bedroom because we had nothing else to do with it it is the greatest of all time prop the bed up watch a show doesn't get better than that got the sheets being washed right now. I think we're pretty much ready. I've cleaned her bathroom downstairs so she has her bathroom all cleaned and ready probably about an hour and a half before she shows up here and we'll head off to the doctor and hopefully she handles everything like a champ. Poor girl, I feel bad for her. She is so hungry. Couldn't eat after midnight last night and her surgery isn't until 1.45. She's very hungry. One hour later. The moment has come. The patient has arrived. Madison Bingham going in for the first surgery of her life today. First okay. surgery of your life, right? Like never had surgery? Never had surgery. Nothing. First one. How do you feel? Are you hungry? Yeah. Oh, is that good? The car loaded last night. Oh wait, no. I, I, I don't remember the rules of going into surgery. She can't eat right she up until. She couldn't have eaten since last I've night. I've been fasting. Midnight. Doing pretty good though. I just am kind of like. Ugh. Oh, you're about to be way more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> say. yeah. She's going to get her wisdom teeth removed right now. Now I didn't get all the deets, but all four. Yeah. All four. They're like super, super deep and rooted. It's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. These two are gonna go together. We're gonna get the house even more ready. We've got a super awesome place oh, for you set up. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, gonna play do? video games the whole time you guys are gone. And then, and then you're gonna stay in our bed for some of the recovery because then you can adjust like up down feet raise all that good stuff wow. so yeah the fully automatic and it's even got Easy. massage features if you need it if you need it wish her luck because right now she's rocking double Sean Mendez gear to take her into surgery Sean with her all the way I had to. gotta do it you gotta do it. everyone's okay. got a good luck charm mom you're gonna try and video as much as you can I'll try my hardest okay coming out of anesthesia if you, like, cry and profess your love for like this boy at school that we don't even know about I don't even know about it <laughs> yeah. so that would be really interesting we may all discover your true love after this we <laughs> have no 
find out yet. the good stuff from Maddie. But you guys, right now, hit that like button to wish her luck going into her first surgery ever. It's gonna be amazing. We're super excited to be able to have her here during the recovery process to hang out with us. I'm saying all this now because you might not know anything I'm saying later today. <laughs> we love you and good I luck. love you guys. <laughs> we just got here. Maddie, how are you feeling? You actually still have energy to jump around, so I feel good about that. Yeah, that was a lot though. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm ready for this. It's gonna be fine. We're just gonna get it over with. Hopefully all goes well. It'll go well. I told her, I said, if I had to bet what you're like, I'm betting you cry. I bet you're like the crying type. I could definitely see that. <laughs> I could too. <laughs> all right, let's get in there. All right. This is your sweet, Maddie. The last time I ate was at like 10.30 last night. Doctor's about to come in. You're hooked up to all the machines, all the monitors. You're breathing, your heart's beating. That's good, and everything's good. You've got the cutest little cap on your head, too. Do I look good, you or look do so, I look good? You look so pretty right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, are you feeling good? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Just that's okay, that's normal. Not for any particular reason. We just said a little prayer in here in the office. The doctor will do a great job, that she'll recover well. He's gonna come in and put her to sleep next. They're off, they're gone now to the, what do you call that thing? The surgeon's office, the wisdom tooth removal specialist. That's where they are right now. It's going down in about ugh, six minutes, I think it's happening. They are there, we are here. I'm gonna be doing a few things to get the house further prepared. Mom has obviously taken care of most everything to the letter, you guys. She has been amazing getting snacks, food, the house clean, room downstairs ready, upstairs ready. She's got the sheets washing and now they are drying in the laundry room. As soon as they come out, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sheets on our bed so that she can have that little more ease of access as she goes up and down in and out of bed. She should be a little bit out of it. It's been a long time, you guys, since I had my wisdom teeth out, and so I can't really remember what the post-surgery process and feeling is like. I do know that I remember, it's kind of gross, sorry. Disclaimer, gross. I remember blood just like always dripping out of my mouth and you can't feel it so you don't know, so you always have like a towel to wipe up the blood. But then I distinctly remember my very best friend at the time, he got his out around the same time. I went over to his house and he was trying to show off how quickly he had recovered. So he started doing handstands and cartwheels right after surgery and I just remember him coming up from the cartwheel and his face covered in blood because it had dripped out of his mouth all up his face. But, I mean, he was lucid enough to be able to do cartwheels and handstands, which was very impressive. So we will see how Maddie's feeling when she gets back. We're gonna get the house prepped, ready to go, get her comfort zone set up, get some nice, cool, soft snacks ready. We are so excited, so happy, so pumped, so grateful to be able to be just down the road so she can come here, recover at the house, and we can share in this first ever surgery experience with her. You guys, if you've had your wisdom teeth out, hit that like button, let her know, show her how many people have been through this. She's not alone on this one. She's got support, she's got love out there. We know you guys love and support her and you show it in so many ways. We can't thank you enough for that. Feeling good? Yeah. So do you guys ever let them keep their wisdom teeth for the tooth fairy? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. She is in college, starving college student. Oh my, yeah. She's you know? every little quarter she can Gotta get. Gotta have yeah, something to put under that true. pillow tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Deep breath. Deep breath. Your hands are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Those were her last words. <laughs> They just took her back. I decided to come outside rather than video and in a full office back there, but she's doing great. You could tell the second it hit her and she just got knocked out. Her mouth opened, her hand just flopped over. So she's in great hands. They've given her something for nausea, for swelling, antibiotic, dry mouth and everything. So she's back there. They said it will take about 30 minutes. And they said, whenever she's done, they'll let me go back. She did great. We said a prayer, poloed her mom, touching base with all of them. I hope she does awesome. A few minutes later. Did they take out your teeth? <laughs> It's over. <laughs> Maddie, you were doing awesome. It's over. It really is. You're probably one of the better patients I've had today, so. You're doing good. Make sure you you keep your eyes open. Okay, I'm in the silver van right there. Walk down right here so you don't have to try and sit. Perfect. You okay? Keep your eyes open. That's our van. Watch your head there, okay? Thank you, I may be calling you. Maddie, <laughs> don't fall over, don't fall over. Okay, we gotta get you buckled. What do you want to tell everyone? I'm proud of me. I'm so proud of you. You did good. 
going to get in the car and go home, okay? Are you going to throw up? Oh, there's a in my throat. Don't let it go in your throat. Oh, what were you sitting there for? I was only sitting there for a few minutes because it was so fast. They gave me your teeth and they're huge. Really? You can put them under your pillow and the tooth fairy will come. Oh, boy. Why is <laughs> You don't look stupid. <laughs> I know what's going on. You know what's going on? Mm -hmm. What's going on right now? We're rushing out to the back of the house, but the woods are so fast. Put your cotton back in. I'm not really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what in the heck kind of laugh is that? I don't know. You guys, Minnie just sent me a Marco Polo of what's going on in the van right now. They're about to pull up. I gotta say, I've never seen anything like it, you guys. She said she wanted to say hi to the vlog. Hi! Minnie got me ice cream and um, festival. This is really nice. Here they come right now. Here they come. Yeah. I'm pretty nice, huh? We just got home. We just got home. My dad's gonna help you get out, okay? My dad's gonna help me get out, okay? Okay. My legs are attacking my body. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> my legs are not attaching my body. Your legs, legs are not attached to your body? <laughs> <laughs> So wait, sweetie, do I have to carry her? Yeah, we're gonna walk. have to help her walk up. Okay, here, I'll help her. That's weird. I'm so calm. Okay, swing friend. your legs out. Okay. Don't try and stand up, okay, sweetie? Let us do that for you. Oh. We're well, gonna lift you up, okay? okay? Remember, you have to take deep breaths when you stand up and you have to open your eyes. Are you? Yeah. Do you want me to help on the other side? Yeah. Oh, those eyes are big. <laughs> You're doing a good job. An amazing job, Maddie. <laughs> There's a step right here. <laughs> I can't wait for you to watch There's this later. Another, <laughs> another step, another step, one more. Mindy, how are you going to get upstairs? <laughs> you are doing so good. There's only 17 more. Oh my gosh. Where's my family? Where's my family? <laughs> Bros, Maddie wants to see you. She thought she saw you down the street. Wait, really? Good morning, she says. Hey, <laughs> this is Maddie. You may not recognize her, but it's Maddie. I don't want to. Here you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, hey, you're actually doing incredibly well at these stairs, Maddie. I'm not kidding. I feel like she's flying. She's doing good. You're doing really good. I'm so glad so I was. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, last stair. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> you saw yourself for the first time. <laughs> I look so awesome. Cute. I'm so cute. You are so cute, Maddie. Over here on dad's side. My side? Okay. We're gonna kick him out of bed tonight. What? I got you, I got you. Okay, you got her, Mindy? Yeah. I'm gonna pull the sheets back. Are you ready? Yeah. Remember okay. when you broke your leg? Yes, I do remember when I broke my leg. Oh, don't fall down, don't fall down. Oh, I won't. Swing okay. around. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, take off your shoes. <laughs> You're doing so good. If you good. sit up, I'll help you get propped up. You need to put your head up a little bit. I can help her, do you want me help? I am happy like that. That's why you put you in this one, Maddie. We can just push a button and right. Oh, here we go, look at her. She's on a ride. Keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times, Maddie. Okay, that's good, Dad. Is that good? Okay, but oh, keep your head so up. so sweet. I hope you get to sleep right away. I'm gonna go get your sheer scars and we need to change it. Maddie, I'm gonna make you watch this before we put it out. <laughs> Maddie, I'm glad you're in such a good mood. <laughs> Casey, you wanna come see Maddie and tell her you love her? You're my favorite sister. <laughs> Get it, Hazy, because you're her only sister. <laughs> Why is she closing her eyes? Well, she's just sleepy. <laughs> You've never been funnier, so now you kind of have this thing for being funny. I've always been funny. I'm very confused where the yogurt went. <laughs> you see, I'm very confused where the yogurt went. <laughs> <laughs> You've never bite. seen eating yogurt be more entertaining <laughs> than this. I don't know that even with you, I spoon fed you. <laughs> no, but after my surgery, I don't know if you did. No, I, I was in the hospital for a while, though. They might have had some nurses do no, it. No, I'll hold it. It's okay. That's really good. Did I they give her anti nausea? I feel like there's yogurt on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> So, the 
this is my doctor. Her name is Mindy, and she's going to be taking care of me today. Maddie is safely in bed. We've got her propped up. She's had a little bit of yogurt. She's had a little sip of water. Now it's time to put the gauze back in her mouth so that she can rest safely, hopefully be able to get some sleep, maybe rest out some of this anesthesia because it is essentially just a laughing gas for her right now. She is laughing like crazy. To put the gauze back in, we're gonna have to do a little bit of post-surgery treatment here. That's gonna require some specialists, someone who has experience in the field of medical work. So we've called in the doctor, Dr. Mindy Bingham. Welcome Dr. Bingham, to my gloves. I am just your assistant here. Gloves ready? Thank you, yes. Uh, Maddie, anything else stat that you need or an epi one? Of, I hope of we sorts. don't need an epi one. Yeah. Whoa. Can I get some gauze? Gauze, yes, here you are. No, I said gauze. Oh, God. Mm, geez, I am so, so sorry. Here you are, there you are. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna set Maddie up here. She's gonna be hanging out watching some shows. She's gonna watch New Girl. That's what she'd like to watch. I don't know if she's gonna remember she knows exactly much or where any she's of it. At. I'm surprised. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, she can read, guys. I mean, she is a scholarship student at Brigham Young University. I can't even say Brigham Young. <laughs> She's mocking <laughs> She can literally call me out and mock I my speech. She's with it, you guys. She said she's better. I think she needs to sleep this off a little bit. She's gonna watch some shows. I already saw this episode yesterday. She remembers seeing this episode yesterday. We're trying to find the episode she's on. She's recovering very well in great spirits, laughing like crazy. Now, we will see. I'm gonna sneak out here so that she doesn't hear me talk about this part because I don't want her thinking about this, but when she comes off of this and it all wears off, that's when some of the pain can kick in, the swelling, things like that. She's gonna be with us for a couple of days. We're just gonna make sure she's taking care of and nurse back to health. Mindy's done a phenomenal job. Nurse Mindy, as you guys know, loves any opportunity to play doctor. Mind blown at how fast that was. I don't know if Mindy talked about all this already, but like literally, we're talking minutes. She texted me and said, we'll probably be home in an hour. 15 minutes later, she said, we're on the road home. So absolutely incredible how quickly this happened, got done, the surgery taken care of, teeth ripped. They got to keep them. I don't know if she's showing you those. I'm gonna show them to you. The roots are huge. They let her keep the teeth for the tooth fairy. So I'm gonna show you guys those. We'll check back in on her in a little bit, see how she's doing. Hopefully she can just rest right now, get a little bit of sleep and get ready for the road to recovery. I just had to show you these teeth. I'm sorry, I'll put in a little warning before I show this that it could gross people out, but look at the length of these roots. Like that's the wisdom tooth. All of that, it's hard too. Like it looks like it's like squid tentacle or something, but it is a long, hard, toothy root. That whole thing extracted today. Those are gnarly. She's awake, she's back to life. She's not laughing nearly as much. Mm -mm. But how are you doing? I won't make you talk a lot, but how are you doing? I'm doing really good. I'm just tired, but I feel good. That's awesome. So the pain, not too bad so far, she no, said. No, no pain Not really yet. feeling nauseous. She just had mashed potatoes and- Smoothie. And a smoothie. Yeah. So she's had some food. And her first antibiotic. She started that. We've already given her a pain med. They said that she's gonna do pretty well, but she's gotta have antibiotics for the next couple of days. They said her most swollen day will probably be Sunday. We just need to make sure we're icing. 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. I mean, it's gonna get worse than that. I'm just kidding. I know, her right side is already pretty swollen. Changing the gauze every hour, I think they said. Yes, changing the gauze every hour. You can't have gauze, obviously, when you sleep. All kinds of little, to like, things eat. you gotta do. Nurse Mindy on the scene. She's literally been here in the bed she's with Maddie all best. day. I will attest to that. Mindy is the best. We already know that. She's Mindy's best. But honestly, like, she's just, from start to finish, she's prepped for today. She had all of the stuff, all of the food, the goodies, the things she might need. Went and got all the prescriptions in advance. Got the room already. Bought in advance to have Maddie be able to sleep here. So I guess you're gonna sleep in here tonight, right? Is that the plan? Do you know that? Yeah, so I, I think they were going to do that because the yeah. basement's so far away. You can't really hear if she needs anything or if yeah. anything happens. Like if she gets nauseous and starts throwing up in the night. Minnie just wants to be close and she doesn't want me very close. Sorry, so I'm I will be you. really far away. Oh, where They're are you going to go? Probably on the floor of the basement or the garage. Just your bedroom? I'll probably honestly sleep in your bed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that's going to work out. But I just really impressed at how well you're handling this, how well this is going. She's doing yeah, really good. She's, she's been really awesome. Good. Really, the only thing left to do today is to relax some more. We did get Maddie some ice cream. <gasps> that's huge. We have her favorite ice cream coming. I think it actually has arrived. It already came. I put it in the freezer. We're having that tonight. The last thing we have to do today, Maddie, is put your teeth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. What does a tooth fairy pay these days for wisdom teeth with roots that deep? Well, I'm saying 25 actually, bucks a tooth. I don't even 
even know if I told you this, but they said we don't usually give the teeth to people. Why? I don't think anyone's ever asked. But I was like, she's a college student. Every college student could use a little extra cash. The tooth fairy is going to be paying through the nose on those, I believe, because they're worth it. It all went to that guy who took out the teeth, though. Sorry. You're definitely in the wrong business. That dude was making bank. He's making thousands a minute over there. like 10 minutes. Yeah, he's crushing it. Closing things down in the best way possible with Maddie and ice cream. Cotton candy ice cream, you guys. It's so good. She's had a great full meal of mashed potatoes, we smoothies, got, smoothie. got some apple sauces on the side. Going through the gauze is getting less and less bloody. Yeah, this last one was really good. I'm on a good track. You've handled it really well. It's been Thank incredibly you. impressive to see how well you've done, just in how you've carried yourself. It's obviously been very funny. I think everyone's enjoyed that at your expense, so thank you for being a trooper <laughs> on that one. To see you kind of handle it so well. She's up, she's been walking around a little bit. Things are going well. The road to recovery looking fantastic. Yeah. Now she's gonna be here tomorrow. So make sure you come back tomorrow, see how things are, see how the pain is, the see swelling, the things like that. Brought her. But, oh, that reminds me, you guys, thank you. We gotta put these teeth under, oh man, I don't think you can sleep with this size of teeth under your pillow, yeah, but let's stuck them under there. Older. There you go, right there, okay? Tooth fairy, come and make a visit. That should be worth a lot, you guys. We had a good time today. We laughed a lot and had some great fun. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> you don't remember any of it, but it was great. <laughs> <laughs> make sure and come back tomorrow, see how Maddie's doing, see what the tooth fairy brought. I'm gonna be interested to see. Yeah, I am too. Hope mm, it's, me too. Hope <laughs> it's pretty cool. We love you. Thank you so much for showing so much love and support yeah, for Maddie. Thanks. She's done awesome. Oh, and you guys, speaking of love and support for Maddie, I think she is about to set the record for the most engagements. She already has. You set the record. Have I? The post that she did for her school project, you guys, we're pretty sure that she not only got the most in her class, which is going to get her the extra credit she wanted to get, she may have set the all-time record for the most engagements in this contest's history because there was one that the teacher would send out with the contest to show how big it could go. And I think because of you guys, she set a new all-time record. We will confirm that. We'll let you know. But you guys are showing a lot yes, of love and support for Maddie. thank you guys so much. You guys are the greatest. We love we you. Love Make sure you come back tomorrow. We'll see you then. What do you want to tell everyone? <laughs>